So I'm uh, really quickly going to do this uh, video for YouTube this morning. Um, running a little late uh, to the gym, but uh, well, not running. Well, you know what I mean. Uh, I'm a little late to the gym, but I'm going to get a good workout. Uh, it'll basically hamstrings, rack pulls, uh, and a few bits of full body, followed by abs and obliques, and then to work. So uh, last night. I decided, because I'm walking backwards and forwards to the gym, and, well, walking backwards and forwards to the gym and work, um, usually a walk takes me around about, on the whole, coming back from work, around about 40 minutes, 35 to 40 minutes. Now, I have added a little running in, and I've marked off, um, I've marked off, 2.1 miles it's around about 2.5 to my house well not even 2.5 around about 2.3 if i'm being honest so i'm paying for it a little this morning but yesterday i decided to try and run as much as possible now i have in the past um when i've run back done Done it in 26 minutes. Now I'm not close to breaking any sort of world records. That's not the point here. What I will say is, is usually I get around about two to two and a half hours of gym in the morning, and I work 12-hour shifts. And for about six hours, I'm walking around as well. I I am on a calorie deficit as well as training to the maximum so last night I made 2.1 miles didn't run all the way but I did manage a good time a respectful time of 24 minutes and 7 seconds which I'm pretty proud of considering I'm not a runner never really have been in my youth I was a little bit <laughs> but 2.1 miles after everything else during the day and when I'm tired on a night I don't think it's uh, pretty too shabby uh, this morning I'm walking to the gym and I have to admit I'm making a little especially in my left hamstring and glutes now for the reason for that is this I do suffer with a little, um, do suffer with a little bit of a sciatica, not too much, but it does affect me, not as much as what I did during lockdown, I was in absolute agony during lockdown, but um, what I will say is this, is that um, I'm improving, and this morning I'm not ripped or lean, but I am very close and at the end I'll put a photo, I'm going to um, put this through video editor and put a photo of what it looked like at uh, the end of this video. Now, I won't, from the start, well, I won't say I'm lean, but um, I'm getting to a point where I'm getting close. I literally have the last bit, there is some water retention there and some body fat but for going over to America where I'll be doing a lot of hiking and I'll be doing a lot of swimming in lakes as well as body workout keeping my diet clean I should by the time I come back be in a little bit better shape and be ready to go back into uh, training for the mid-October of photo shoot. Uh, I have had a meeting with my photographer and it's now up to me to deliver the final product and to get there. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, all I will say is, is for those people who are just starting uh, with the fitness journey, 
And one thing you're going to do is you're going to find you're going to ache. You're going to go, oh, how can I possibly go on? And, you know, to be honest with you, um, at the end of the day, you don't go, you don't train until you're hurt. But you are going to ache. But, look, it's just muscle ache. It will pass as you get used to it. Don't be afraid of it. Obviously, if you are having pain in your joints, you need to adjust your training. Perhaps make sure that you're training the right way. But all in all, if you're aching, get up and go and do. Work through it. Take a good walk before you train. Uh, as I've been walking for the past 20 minutes, um, the ache is subsiding. It will pass as you get oxygenated blood into your body. And as always, the other thing I would say is sleep. Make sure you get a good sleep. At the moment, I'm focusing on training myself to um, be an optimal working around about six hours sleep a night. That's what I'm looking at. Now I've got plenty of time during the day to get the results I want. So, at the end of the day, you've just got to ask yourself, are you worth it? It is as simple as that, are you?